Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this Merly Twist look. These are so cute. In a second, I'm going to be showing you guys just how I did it. So I purchased two packs of ombre unnamed hair from Amazon, so I'll link them in the description bar below. I'm going to be using the Marais Beeswax. I'm also going to be using some clips that I got from the beauty supply to accessorize. And I'm going to be using rubber bands to pack my hair. I'm going to be using a tooth comb to part it, some edge control to slay my edges when I'm done. And now I'm just going to start with um, parting my hair just to give me um, just an idea of what I'm working with. So I'm going to pack it into an upper and a lower and I'm just gonna cut and show you guys how I'm going to start off with my um, first section from the back and this is what it looks like so now I'm gonna begin this process I'm going to start off with the back and with the majority of my hair and then I'm going to um, zoom in and give you guys a bit more of an idea of what I was doing So this is now what I'm working with. So now I'm going to give you guys a detailed tutorial on how I did these twists. I'm going to be using Marais Beeswax to condition my scalp and also gives me a really good grip when I'm braiding. I'm going to apply a little bit of it to the roots and also if anything you could even add them to the tips of your hair too if that helps. I'm going to be applying that generously I'm going to be smoothing it out so it won't leave that white debris or have that stain on it. Here is my current three pieces of hair. I'm going to take it. So I have two, in the, two on this hand and one on this hand. I'm going to go ahead and cross it just like that. So it's just going to be like how you would put in a braid or how you would start off doing um, anything that would be like an extension pretty much. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and that's basically what it looks like just has its little link right there. I am going to go ahead and put this, this middle one's gonna be holding onto it. And I'm starting mine off with a braid. Some people prefer not to do that, but I prefer it because it gives me more of a strong hold than it would if I just did like a twist on. So I don't, I don't want to do twist ons, I prefer to do braids. So I'm gonna braid it about two to three times and then I'm gonna stop grab the hair, kind of detangle it a little bit down there. Make sure that it's firm and secure, like that. So we see it's on there tightly. And then I'm just going to take the hair, right? And I'm gonna take one of these little strands and I'm gonna cross it over to my other hand, like that. And then I'm gonna grab this bunch over here and this is going to help me set the process of being able to twist it. So I'm going to twist this one, and I'm going to twist this one this way, and then I'm going to begin my twist. And also the wax also helps to keep your um, loose hair in as you're twisting. I'm going to continue doing your twist like this. I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like from different angles. Sometimes while you're twisting, you might come across a really, really annoying knot. And it just gets frustrating sometimes. But I typically like to twist as far as I can to the bottom. And voila, there you go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my last twist. It's gonna be the same exact instructions that I did for the first one. You're gonna use three strands and you're just gonna put it on like you're doing a braid. And you're gonna do about two to three braids when you do this.
Hearts do not have to be super perfect. They just have to be pretty decently sized and pretty even. Some of the tops were a little uneven just because um, I didn't really know, you know, I wanted to make sure it was the number of braids, but I was wanting to make sure it was fuller up here, so I did take smaller parts as I, you know, got to the top of my head. In general, um, I really, 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 really like it. So this is the length. It's coming down a little past my bra, and it's kind of hitting towards my waist in the back, which I think is a great length for me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start accessorizing with my clips now. And it's super easy to do, so you just kind of put them in places where you think they would be best. You don't want them to be, you don't want too many in your head at one time, but you don't want too little. So you kind of want to make sure there's some symmetrical, you know, intentional um, adding of clips to your hair, but you also just want to make sure that you're comfortable where they are and with how many you have in your head. So I'm not going to be doing too much to the endings. I know people usually put theirs in hot water, but I don't think it's necessary. Because this style is already very um, natural hair textured, I don't think there's any need for having a sleek ending, really. I think what you can do if you want them to like rest a little bit more is just add some mousse on there. If you feel the need to trim, you could always just trim a bit off. That's definitely still, you know, okay and still won't, and won't ruin the whole look. But I don't think there's any need for hot water. I don't think there's any need for all that stuff. So um, this is basically um, what it's looking like. I'm absolutely in love with it. So this is basically what the finished product looks like. I really like it. Um, I love the. I love how the um, accessory complements the whole look as a whole. I used my edge control, I laid my edges down. So uh, this is basically it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know. And um, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you could see yourself trying this stuff. And subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.